completely changed the conversation, period, about the aspirations not to be a millionaire, it's to be You got your perspective. I just wanna be happy, don't you wanna be happy? So (laughs) after that I go to Puerto Rico, then I'm going to Venezuela, then I'm going to Mexico. So it's like, but this is my brand and myself because no one becomes a millionaire nine to five, guy. And you say it all the time, and I'm hustling, getting up after. And honestly, man, we need to change. Honestly, I'm gonna take this advantage. We need to change the conversation. Period. About the aspirations, not to be a millionaire, it's to be happy. Amen. For real, like you know how happy you are. I'm you imagine 16 year old you being like, I'm gonna go to Peru and I'm gonna fucking yeah. like, get the fuck. And, 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 and I think the universe, because for, for at one point in my life too, like I had the money or or, or everything was there that I always wanted, but then I took a you step back and said, I was not happy. I'm, I left the number my, one radio station. My in the world 2019 agenda is to make happy, like for you to say, as you're, and you're doing it subconsciously, like you're not, not everyone's a million, for you to say, not everyone's happy at 27. If I can replace the word millionaire, with happy, and I'm crazy. I think I can pull it off. What do you do, Gary, when, let's say you're at a location or you're at a point in your life that you're, obviously you need chill, you need to pay bills, but you're no longer happy. What, what do you? You need to change your bills. Okay, okay. You need to not buy a fresh fucking hoodie. You, you may need to, to move into a shittier apartment. Okay. I'm being dead serious. One of the other conversations I'm having is change your bills. Okay. You know, if you're not happy, but you got bills, why don't you look at your bills? Happiness. Happiness is key. No, dude, it's everything. There's not a lot of people crying for pretty girls, but you're sitting here and when you wake up in the morning, you're like, fuck, Instagram's the most important platform. Right, 91% of my audience are dudes that want to see my body. Yeah. I want to be known for music. Mm-hmm. Every time I post music, it gets no fucking engagement. Mm-hmm. Every time I post skin, it gets engagement. Right. And nobody's crying for pretty girl problems, but the reality is it's your problem. It, it's, it's been frustrating for sure because like a lot of people are telling me, well, mix both, you know, the sexy and, you know, and the music, so, but I, would like for people to listen. Make a video straight to face and be like, yo, dudes, like, <laughs> I know why you're here, like, I get it. Like, if, I, like, if you've ever, like, if, if you, like, have gotten value out of me, mm-hmm. just put me on one time, right now, tag your sister, your mom, mm-hmm. your girlfriend, your wife, because I'm about to put out a lot of music and, like, I just want some of that love. People want real. Mm-hmm. Hey, fuck. This transition from model to musician has been tough. Mm -hmm. You motherfuckers don't want to like my shit because I'm not giving you tits and ass. Mm -hmm. I'm fucking struggling creatively and got nothing to fucking give for you music wise. Like who else is struggling today? That's when you'll pop. If you're not full of shit, which I really believe you're not, then put out the fucking music for a year and then fucking get frustrated at the end of the year that it didn't happen and then put out bikini shots. But that will, like you've got time. You're not 80 yet. You could, like, you could model next year. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I do. So do it. Go on Otherwise hard. you're half fucking pregnant. Mm-hmm. Half pregnant means you don't know. Mm-hmm. You're like, oh, if I went all in. That's what you're doing when you're laying in bed. If I went all in the music, what would happen? Glean, have you heard of that? Because another kind of route I was gonna take during my rollout to get people engaged and you know keep people listening and pretty much it's kind of like a sweet steak type of tracker thing. <sighs> Listen. Listen to my face. Listen to my face? (laughs) Please, really listen to me. Mm -hmm. You're looking for shortcuts. Mm -hmm. Your body's a shortcut, Gleam's a shortcut, sweepstakes are a shortcut, contest is a shortcut. Put out fucking music. Okay. (laughs) Here's why. You're young enough to do it all in for a period of time Mm -hmm. and then decide. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I do. You're blessed with options. Yeah. Right? Mm Mm-hmm. You agree, right? You felt that one. (laughs) You're blessed with options. Woe is me, you have to settle in in two years to back to modeling. Mm -hmm. 
Well, fine. So if you're never going back, so ready? So if you're not going, if you're not going back, mm -hmm. then don't be half-assed. Okay. All music. All music. Every day. Every day. Hey, everybody! This is the Ask Gary V Show, no, no, and we. No, 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 no. This, this is my show. So today we're going to be pairing wine with three foods, and by that I mean we're going to be pairing cat wine wine made specifically for cats with three different food flavored candy canes. Let's go. Cheers. Cheers. To good health. That is atrocious. Uh, I'll try pairing it with the mac and cheese uh, candy cane. That really tastes like mac and cheese, doesn't it? It's delicious. Are those oyster we'll get flavored? To that, Gary. What is the largest mammal you think you could knock out with a single punch? A pony? A pony? <laughs> Uh, we have some rotisserie chicken candy cane. Wow. This smells atrocious. Tastes okay. exactly like it. All right, how does this pair? With your Terrible. Wine? It's kind of like a Thanksgiving at my house. I don't know. This is delicious. Oh, This no. is delicious. Don't like this one. Oh, man. <laughs> this is tough. I love it. If you could buy the Jets right now. Yes. With the one stipulation that you had to wear Jordans every single day for the rest of your life. Would you do it? Not yet. Really? Really. I'd wait. Any any final yeah. words that, that you wanna Almost everybody who's gonna watch this is unfortunately living their lives based on somebody else's opinions. And that leads to extraordinary unhappiness. And we need to start making being a millionaire not the ambition, but being a happy person the ambition. And I'm really I really believe that that's about to happen and I wanna be one of the people that drives that conversation amongst the hundred thousands of other people that need to do it for it actually to become real. Um, but boy, do I want to eliminate judgment. Everybody here is judging people. We judge so much and now with the way modern technology works, it's so easy to judge at scale with so little context. So a little less judgment and a little more empathy. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my video on YouTube. I wanted to jump in here at the end because I'm working on a ridiculously important project for me and I have a funny feeling you can help. If you drink wine at all or know anybody that drinks wine at all, please go to empathywines.com right now and sign up for a subscription. Whether it's a three pack, whether it's a six pack, or whether it's a whole case of each for the year, if you drink 36 bottles of wine a year or give away 36 bottles of wine a year, please sign up for Club Empathy. This project means the world to me. I could really use your support.